Hello and welcome uh, to today's session on answering uh, Mock Paper 2 Foundation uh, Calculator Paper. Um, this paper is a good paper and uh, it's for Edexcel. Yeah, GCSC um, Edexcel exam board this is. And it's uh, the questions on this paper um, could be very likely to be in the exam. So if we start answering the first question, so let's pick a pen. Um, so here it says, write 7,158 7, to the nearest 10, to the nearest 10 there. Um, so what we do here is we draw the decision line there between the 5 and the 8. So this is in the unit, the 8, and that is your decider. Yeah. And you ask yourself, is this more than 4? So if it is more than four, basically five, six, seven, eight, or nine, then you add one to the five, and the five becomes six. And that would be your answer, 7,160. Someone else might say, okay, I'll just do it logically. So they want it to the nearest 10. So the two ends would be either 7,150, or 7,160. So this is 7,158. So 58 is only two away from 7,160, basically 7,160. So therefore, it is 7,160. Right, let's go to question number two. So question number two here, it says, write out the mathematical name of this 3D shape, and this is basically a cylinder. Okay, um, shade three quarters of this shape. So, if we if you look at this shape, this has eight parts. But just think of it as a chocolate bar, yeah. And if you split it into four parts, that's a quarter, that's another quarter, that's another quarter, and that is another quarter. So therefore, if you want three quarters, basically they would be three of those. That's one, that's two, and that's three. So basically, um, the shaded ones, that is three quarters, basically. Yeah, so yeah, I could delete this now. Yeah, so your three quarters are the shaded parts. Excellent. Now, um, I mean, I will rub this off. Um, because they only asked us to shade, so maybe you could leave it like that in the exam. It's just to help us um, explain uh, the question. Now here it says write eight percent as a decimal percent. We know it's out of hundred, so you change this to a fraction. So it's basically eight out of hundred. Yeah, eight out of hundred is basically what? That's eight divided by hundred. You put that in the calculator. This is a calculator paper, so please use your calculator, and that would give you 0 0.08. I've seen a lot of students don't use a calculator with this kind of question, and automatically just stuck in their brain is 0 0.8, yeah, even though they know the answer is 0 0.08, so they get that wrong. So please use the calculator. Excellent. Now here it says, um, here's a list of numbers. Write down the number from the list that is a cube number. What's a cube number? Yeah, so even if you don't know your cube numbers, yeah, so what you can do basically is, um, let me just scroll this, yeah, right? So what you could do is um, just start from one, one cubed, two cubed, three cubed. Let's start with three simple numbers, yeah, and you just say what is one cubed is one times one times one, and that gives you one. Is one there? No. That's 2 times 2 times 2. Why is that? 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Yeah? And 3 cubed is basically 3 times 3 times 3. That's 27. Yeah? So which of these numbers are in the list? 8 is in the list. So 8 is the cube number. Yeah, I mean, these uh, those kind of questions, you should know them, uh, right? But you could just try, I mean, I've done it the non-calculator way just to show you, but 
um sorry here i forgot one there yeah okay so that's one times one times one yeah you just put one cubed and then two cubed and then three cubed in the calculator and then you will you'll figure out the number all right excellent next here is a menu um so they gave you this table um the starter um uh, melon and soup uh, main course is burger, fish, lasagna, dessert, cheesecake, and trifle. Tina is going to choose one starter and one main course, uh, or one main course and one dessert. Write down all the possible combinations Tina can choose. All the possible combinations Tina can choose. Yeah. So we want to know all the possibilities. Right. So let's choose a different color. Let's use purple now. Okay. So we want to do one starter and then one main. So one starter, and that's melon, burger, melon fish, melon lasagna. So you could just use the first letters of each um, word, yeah, because they're all different letters. So that's M for melon, burger for B, and then melon fish, and then melon lasagna. Now you do the second combination, which is a different color here. So you can say soup, burger, soup, fish, soup, lasagna. Yeah, that is for that. So soup, burger, soup, fish, and soup, lasagna. There. Right? And they said what now? They said one main course and one dessert. So now this is the main course. Burger, cheesecake, burger, trifle. Burger, cheesecake, burger, trifle. Yeah, and we have here what? Um, fish cheesecake, fish trifle. Fish cheesecake, fish trifle. And finally, lasagna cheesecake, lasagna trifle. Lasagna cheesecake, lasagna trifle. And that's it. That's your answer. Right, question number seven. Now, question number seven says, um, all right, just bear with me. Just checking something. Okay, good. So question number seven says, stamps cost 67p. Yeah, stamps cost 67p. Max has 20 pounds to spend. Okay, 20 pounds to spend. All right. And each stamp costs 67p. He buys as many stamps as he can. Work out the amount of change Max gets, uh, should get from the 20 pounds. And give you an answer in pens. So they want the answer in pennies. So if they want the answer in pennies, change everything to pence. Yeah. So you have 20 pounds. So 20 pounds. Yeah. We know that one pound. Um, is basically 100 pence, yeah? So one pound equals 100 pence. So if you want to go from pound to pennies, you times by 100. And if you want to do the opposite, you divide by 100. So therefore, 20 times 100, that gives you 2,000 pounds, yeah? Sorry, 2,000 pence, uh, excuse me there. Right, so therefore, we have 2,000 pence now all you have to do is the 2000 pens that um, um yeah that max has divide by the cost of stamp of each stamp which is 67p you put that in the calculator and you should get um 29.85 should get 29.85 remember we are after the amount of uh, we are after um basically first we need to know how many stamps that could buy you so that could buy you 29.85 stamps but we can only buy complete stamps so he can get 29 complete stamps. So if you multiply the 29 by the 67p, that would be 1,943p. What's the change that's left from there? 2,000 minus 1,943p, and that would be 57p. And that's your answer for that question. 
Right, question number eight here says, there are some buttons in a tin, 35% of the buttons are red. So what percentage of the buttons are not red? So we have 100% minus the 35%. So not red must be 65%, okay? That would be 65%. Now here they said, what fraction of the buttons are red? So we know red is 35% and 35% is 35 out of 100. And basically that is your answer. Yeah, because percent is out of 100. Now you come to this question. Right, so here it is. You can use uh, this graph to change it between gallons and liters. Um, so on the y-axis here we have liters. And on the x-axis we have gallons. So we can use a different cut co different colors for gallons maybe. I'll use green. Let's use green. Okay. There. Gallons there. All right. So now here it says use the graph to change 15 gallons to liters. Okay. So let's find 15 gallons then. Let's zoom in. So 15 gallons to liters. So that is 15. So you take with your ruler all the way up there. So when it hits the graph there, so what is the corresponding line to that on the y-axis is there. Now, what is that? Yeah, what is that? So um, we need to find this line goes up in increments of what is it? One, is it two, is it 10, is it five, what is it? Right, so if you count from zero to 20, so you go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, so halfway must be ten, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, because ten is half of the twenty. Now, f from zero to ten, what is that? It goes up in uh, in twos, definitely, because it's only five spaces. So what times five gives you ten? It's two. So this goes up in increments of twos. Yeah. Now you start counting from 60. 62, 64, 66, and that is 68. So therefore the answer here is 68 liters. There you go. Yeah. Now here it says, use the graph to change 110 liters to gallons. So now we are after liters, yeah? So let's take, choose red, 110 liters to gallons. Right, same thing, so 110 is halfway between 100 and 120, so that's 110. That's nice and easy. So we go there and it hits the line there, yeah? So this, here, this is not exactly on the line, it's slightly in between, yeah, as you can see, we can zoom in, yeah, it's slightly in between, so when you take it, go up there, yeah, so that's not on there exactly, that looks like, a, yeah, just over the line by a tiny bit, so we'll see that. So that's two lines away, so that is da, 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 but it's inside, okay. So that would be somewhere there. Yeah, that's not exactly on the line, it's just after the line. So we need to know then, this goes up in increments of what then? Uh -huh. Now, between zero and five, you have that. That must be 2.5, it's halfway. Now, this is how many? Now it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so if it goes up in 1s, that must be 5. So it's not, it's half of it. So therefore, this is, goes up in increments of 0 0.5. Yeah? So if that is 25, if you go back 1, that is 24.5. And that is 24. But this is just slightly after 24. So I could say probably 24.2 or something. Yeah. So let's say 24.2. But if I look at the mark scheme, the mark scheme of the paper um, accepts answers. Uh, 
um, in the range of 24 to 24.4. So that is okay. I would 